Bam. I can hear another one. There we go. Welcome back to more 7 Days to Die Alpha 18 Darkness Falls. It is the morning of day 6. Yes, it's been a couple of days now. We had a huge stream last night where we... Um, I originally wanted to make the stream and cut it up and if you watch the VOD of the stream at twitch.tv forward slash games for kicks you can click on the video section you can see the stream there and um, I talk a lot in the stream about yeah and we're gonna cut this out for YouTube or whatever and uh, this is also gonna be recorded for YouTube. It just got really messy because we ended up in a really long session of playing around with different shapes of blocks and like we played around with these type of shapes here a lot like these inside corner steps the wedge step inside corner top and a lot with where's the other ones here the there's another two like the wood frame wedge and the wedge tips and all that stuff we played a lot with the corner actually these two as well the wedge step corner base and the wedge step corner it got very confusing and we literally ended up for at least over an hour i think just playing around with blocks i'll show you what we we're playing around with which i'm gonna destroy now because it doesn't work and we have a plan on what we're gonna do for horde base and we still stick you can see it already a little bit here so we're still sticking with the original plan of having the horde base literally inside a POI and we are fixing up the POI around it as much as possible so that the horde can still get in without destroying it but at the same time we're gonna have an amalgamation of horde base and housing I suppose like and and you know it looks like something like a weird mutation I don't know I have no idea something like that so we're still sticking to this plan we also put a point into workbenches which allowed us to craft the workbench in the saw and yes, they do require 25 forged iron, but that's why I'm back here, because we need more forged iron. And we still have some left. We, I think we have like 10, 12 left. These guys here, oh my balls. The amount of forged iron you get from them is just sick. I hope nothing respawned in here. Okay, no, it didn't. So these guys here are absolutely insane for forged iron, yeah? So I'm literally... There's, if you come across this, there is like, I think, four on either side, so that's eight. And each of them can give you up to four or five even um, forged iron as well as forged steel. So you have eight per pole. That's eight, 16, 32, 64 times four. You have nearly two, what is it, 200? And 50 or something nearly forged iron and stuff like that that's insane and the forged steel is just absolutely sick so these POIs will be my new number one day one POIs for getting some awesome resources I mean it's just insane so I'm gonna get the rest of the forged iron here as much as I can I'm not gonna get the top one because I have to nerd pull up to them unless I can do it like this let me see can I jump on can I jump on that okay and can I reach that no, it's just so, it's just out of reach. And can I go on the nipply bit? Because I don't want to really nerd pull up to all of them. So I'm just going to get the first two on either side and that's it. So I already got most of them. But anyway, I'm going to take the rest of the forged iron out as much as I have to, to upgrade our bars that I'm going to show you guys in a second for what we want to try out for Horde Base. Oh, also, one of the other things that you guys mentioned in the comments was to go into God Mode. So the very first thing we actually did on the stream was go into God Mode and look for our bag. We went all the way down, I don't know, to minus 30 blocks and uh, flew down through the ground. Nope, nothing. It, it really was absolutely impossible to... Um, to oh look at that that's actually where the satchel is if you ever have this base as a quest and is there anything else up here oh look at that nice and we flew around everywhere the bag is gone oh moldy backpack there's two moldy backpacks that is insane look at that nice and uh, yeah just nothing couldn't find it anywhere we went up we went down we looked at the nearby POIs it's just absolutely nothing so we get the feathers, get some eggs, nice. Because I'm, I think I have only a couple of bacon and eggs left. So, oh, can we reach these guys from here? That would be actually great. <laughs> Come on, yes, brilliant. Like just a couple of them I took apart. Now um, you get also mechanical parts from them, which is absolutely insane. 81 mechanical parts. The electrical parts I got from the lights here, but look at this. We already got 38 forged iron and 40 forged steel. How insane is this? And these lights here, this POI is amazing because these lights here, come on, you can do it. These lights here give you mechanical, uh, give you electrical parts. 
like they can give you a chance sometimes they only give you one it depends on the rng really but um sometimes you can end up with nearly one pair hit which is absolutely fantastic so anyway i'm gonna finish this off i'm gonna see you guys back at headquarters or back at actually beside headquarters where we're gonna have our horde base our workbench and our saw cost 25 forged iron each that's 50 forged iron i emptied i cleared out completely the poi now of all those things that gave us forged iron and forged steel and we have 150 forged steel and 89 forged iron remember that another 50 on top so we have 139 i thought it was over 200 139 forged iron which is absolutely insane now i'm i'm out of wrench I can't wrench anymore. But not only that, look at all the mechanical parts and the electrical parts we have. Absolutely insane. Now, we want to repair um, our wrench, actually, if we can, because it's the only wrench I have. And then we have to make more um, repair kits. And there's a couple of things we found over in the other house where we're going to have our base. And I'll show you now. Do I have food with me? Yes. Let's eat that as well. And that should keep our food now well up. We might as well have one more drink to keep it at 160. There we go. And then we're going to go. So we are well rested. We are well prepared. Um, also, in regards to losing everything, yeah, the bag, like I said, we lost everything. But I did spawn in a couple of things back in, like the auger we found, because that was just too insane to lose um, from the bag. But, and I did spawn in the basic iron scrap iron tools that I made, like, because there was no point recrafting them. So anyway, but everything else I, I didn't like. So um, uh, most of the stuff I didn't bother. So if we look at the base here, that was really, really, I was going to show off and I was going to do the cool thing where you jump and open the door and uh, kind of failed. So this door here is uh, how we get in. So this is going to be our horde base. Now there's still a couple of things we're going to have to knock out. I just have to be careful because I don't want the building to collapse because as I said, the idea is that this is a horde base which merges the POI with the horde base in a way that it still looks like a POI, but you can see the mutation nearly, if it would be in human terms, like in biological terms, the mutation nearly of the horde base protruding out of the POI. So it's protrudes, it looks, it's, it comes out a little bit here, but on the top, once we're done with the sides, we're gonna have actually a plateau where we're gonna build into a top base, where we're gonna have some stuff in it, and it will come out right of the house. We're also gonna be building, basically this is like a pyramid. We tried a proper pyramid, okay? And this is what took so long in the stream. Look at this. It's just insane. That was a mixture of different block types. We This is a mixture of wedge step corner base and top corner tips, as well as inside corners and inside corner tops. So you can see that here. Th these are these guys here, yeah? And we're not going to be able to actually pull that off. So what we try to do is we try to use them to kind of make a proper diagonal roundish base but we realized the one block that we're missing for that and it opens up so many possibilities and i believe people mentioned imperion actually having that block which is insane so well i suppose imperion has a lot more blocks as well but what we are missing here and this is why all this is not working because we ended up in this weird jaggedy thing which is still a good looking design i mean jeez i definitely would do a design like that just purely for looks it's absolutely beautiful the way the jagged edges look. It gives it a little bit of, you know, I don't know, just really post-apocalyptic, like, edginess, you know, razor-sharp edges that the zombies slide down and slice open. That would be awesome. Anyway, so we're going to have to destroy it. But what we need on a block is we need a ramp block. That's what we ended up discovering. When you put the ramp block sideways, yeah, if you would want one of those pyramids, let's actually, I'm being a numpty now, I'm not going to advance, sorry, I'm really excited. So we have this block here, let's put it here, come on, 10 hours later, there we go. This block here is perfect to make these half kind of roundish shapes, but the problem is they go straight up. So what you need, you need I think we would call it a wood frame ramp, a wood frame wedge ramp. That's what you need. Where the basically this angle you have on the, on the ramps, this this twenty degree angle, whatever it is, or thirty degree angle, yeah, is on a ramp. 
so that you can basically use this ramp, build it up. It has the incline. You put a wedge tip on top, which you can then also size. So we need also ramp wedge tips. We also need this as a ramp version. On top, then one inside, put the next ramp in and so on. And that would allow you potentially to completely make a perfect kind of perfect dish pyramid, which is as round dish as possible. Because what we have to do in the moment is we have to go full on square and there's just no choice. So we have to do a full on square pyramid because we have the corner parts, but we just don't have anything else. So let's actually go and copy the, there we go. Let's clone the rotation. There we go. And here it is. So that is literally what we're going to end up doing. Beautiful. And they walk up here and they can walk up here. That's fine. And they're going to eventually hit the bars on the top. And then they're going to hit the bars, but they slide down every time they do. And then they try to climb up again. And a lot of people said it confuses the hell out of them. They actually end up running in circles even. But the idea is to have four of those pyramids beside each other. Oh, hello. Um, so we're probably going to build, and we again, we're going to build them wherever we need to. If they happen to go halfway through a POI, so be it. Yeah. And one will be in a POI. The other one will probably be half in the POI, half out here. And then we're going to move either, no, we're not going to move across. We move this way and build another two pyramids. And then we connect them all with bars to walk across each other. But in the center of all those four pyramids, we're going to have a big gigantic hole. And that's where we're going to throw all the pipe bombs down. We throw all the Molotov cocktails down. We should be able to hit all the zombies from there as we can. Now, for the first Horde Night now, of course, we hopefully just get the one pyramid finished. Anyway, lots of waffle, but that's why it's called waffles. <laughs> So we already had a lot of waffles, so let's do some buildings. We might not have any zombie fights in this episode, but let's do some building and um, probably going to make it a time lapse. So not sure how long it's going to be, but it might be quite long because we have a lot of building to do. And I don't want to cut out too much because I know a lot of you enjoy the actual progression of the builds.
Okay, I'm just making a little bit of room. Um, on these sides here... I just have to be crouching very slowly, not to be too obvious. On these sides here, the base is coming literally out of the house. Yeah, because it's just the width of the house wasn't wide enough. And to be fair, I did make this slightly wider than I expected. I didn't mean to make it that wide. On the other, on the other side, going from, I suppose, south to north, on the north and south side, the house is slightly longer. So we have a little bit more wiggle room and we don't have to destroy too much of the house but we're going to have to take these guys out maybe not all of them but yeah we're gonna have to take all of these guys out there we go because i need to have at least one row here room so we're gonna have the main entrance on this side just like we have on this side over there. So if you guys have a look here. Quiet, 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 quiet. If you guys have a look here on this side, we have a huge entrance here. And it's just one block. And then we have the entrance. And we're gonna do the same on the other side, even though the house is a little bit wider on the other side. And we have it right here. So this room here, we're just gonna have to flatten it all into the same level which is right here there we go we have to bring this down we can't put the torches up because it attracts the zombies like insane so hence i have i would turn my torch on if i had a head torch which i don't so we're gonna have to destroy this here and these cardboard boxes as well so i'm gonna make a little bit more room for the entrance here and yeah this house can stay we might make another entrance here on this side like another you know entrance or even in here multiple entrances because we want them to be able to come in as freely as possible without the poi looking completely open and messed up okay i think we're nearly finished just have to be careful with the light nearly finished with this side completely then this quarter and then we have one more side and well, two more sides left. That's like two sides completed then in that case. Okay, so let's um, get the frame wedge. And copy the rotation. There we go. And here we're going to have the strong corner piece, I think. Which is that one. So, yeah, this one is a bit weird. There we go. Excellent. But actually, this time it didn't take 20,000 turns like to get it done. <laughs> okay, so a copy rotation and copy shape. There we go. Brilliant. Love it. And then here we can have a normal square block, I think. Yes. Beautiful. Okay, let's upgrade this one. And then here we have our wedge tips. Copy rotation. Beautiful. Copy rotation. So that way you can see as well how it's actually built. These corners here, we use um, a mix of the wedge step corner base, which I just had above, and the wedge step, wedge, sorry, the frame wedge steep corner top. And that is a steep corner base, not a step. And we put them right here in the corner. There we go. It just takes a little time sometimes. I don't know. It's not advanced. Okay. Sorry. There we go. And that's it. And then the rest is going to be, again, wedge frames. Very good. I like it. And then copy rotation. That is beautiful. This worked much better than what I did before. On the other side, I had the big hollow space, which just started filling out. And it took forever because it's very awkward to be in the space as you fill it out and upgrade everything. And here we have another one of those corner bases, which we just copy the rotation of from here. There we go. Beautiful. And that's it. And then I think... No, 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 no. It will have only a corner. There we go. A steep corner right here. And hopefully we have enough. I don't think we have enough wedge blocks. Sorry, copy rotation. One, two, three, four... Five, six. Yeah, we won't have enough. I'm gonna have to go to my sewing machine and make some more. 
There we go. Okay, so this looks really, really nice. I like this a lot. Let's upgrade all of these guys. And just doing this build as well is amazing experience and um, as in, oh no, we upgraded one block already. Well, they're all going to have to, in the end, get upgraded to cobblestone rocks. So this is not something we're not going to do anyway. It's just that right now I didn't have the time to, ah, damn, to make um, all, the, all the cobblestone rocks I need. So because we're going to need about 2,000, probably something like that. There we go. Excellent. I really like the way this looks. Now we're just going to have to make sure we have enough space inside. So we're going to have to get rid of this. Let's repair that. Oh, why can I not repair it? Do I not have iron with me? Oh, I left all the iron at home. That's not good. That is not good at all. Okay, so let's get some iron from this. And then at least we can repair the axe. There we go. I don't know how much iron it will take. Is five enough? Um, no, not not exactly. We need a little bit more. So we need five plus. Okay, so it was six. That's actually not bad. All right, I'm gonna leave this episode here. I'm gonna leave this um, design like this. Uh, we're gonna continue working on this, or I'm gonna continue working on this between episodes. Um, probably. I will get this finished very close to the Horde Knight. And we're going to have to take out all of this nonsense. Because as you can see on the other side as well. Oh, we have a glowy McGlowy guy over here. Okay, let's actually repair. We can't repair because let's fisticuff him. There we go. The fisticuffs are actually pretty good because... They allow us to punch the guy in the face with right click. Let's hope it works. Because he heals. There we go. Actually, oh, that, why did I miss this? There we go. Now, right click. There you go. You see the right click knocks them straight out, which is actually amazing. There you go. How awesome is that? That fisticuff is just amazing. It just pummels them down so hard. And I think that is... I always thought they had brawl damage, but they actually benefit of the same damage than the clubs, I think. No, oh, hang on. We got a noisy neighbor. Who's here? Okay, let's give you a little smack in the face. Oh, crap. And right click. Oh, there we go. Bam. I can hear another one. There we go. Okay, beautiful. And I don't know how wise it is to have a gun right now out. Okay, let's right click. Bam. And. Ah. There we go. There we go. Come on. How insane is that that we're fighting zombies at night? And we have to run. We have to run. We have to run. We have a spear actually, which is absolutely awesome, which is one of the spears we found in. This house here. Are they still coming after me? I think I actually lost them. Did I lose them? Oh, there they are. There we go. That spear is very, very awesome. Okay, where's Steve? No, it's not Steve. There we go. There's our friend. Okay. There we go, nice. Beautiful. That spear is absolutely awesome. It's called the DF Meletaza Spear. Now, spears you don't throw anymore in general. You hit with them, and we found basically the Taza Spear and the Taza Axe, Stone Axe, in this house in um, some of the chests. Really, really awesome spear. 
still, if you miss, you get hit. <laughs> so let's go home and heal. Anyway, we're going to leave this episode here, guys. A little bit of action in the end. Um, nothing too much, mainly a building episode, but we're going to basically have on all four entrance, well, the other two, the other ones are actually open already, these gateways, so that way it looks like a little bit more managed. We're going to upgrade all of these guys as well to the same wood so that it looks at least all unified. And it still looks like a POI. We can paint it like a POI, old and dirty. You know, when we have paint, there's nothing stopping us. The world is our oyster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. Oh, Royal Roaming Horde. Oh. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, <laughs> hit that subscribe button. And see you guys next time. This is insane. Until then, as always, viel Spaß and happy gaming.